Time to throw it up and get it going here. Gamecocks in search of their first win of the season. And now, here comes together for the start of the Western Carolina Cowboys. 6'1 guard, junior number two from Kingsport, Tennessee, number 21. Catamounts. Colors are purple and old gold. Looks like they're wearing some black with purple trim today. Jacksonville State wearing white trimmed in red and some black. Being introduced to the crowd here. And then we'll play some basketball. Gamecocks, uh, well, all the teams flew in for this event on Sunday. Everybody got in on Sunday. There is a women's tournament. The men's tournament here is today, tomorrow. The women will play Thanksgiving Day through Saturday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. And there are 10 teams on the women's side, eight on the men's side, two different divisions, and the women will play pretty much the same thing, except they play three games. Ray Harper, third year, Jacksonville State head coach, Tommy Wade, Jake Morton, Chase Richardson. All of them three years on the staff with him. James Harry as director of ops for Jacksonville State. Brandon Shonick. Strength and conditioning for the Gamecocks. Here in this first half from where we sit across the floor from the benches. Jacksonville State will go left to right in the catamounts from our right to our left here. Forgot to mention Zach Weinstein's a GA and the athletic trainer, Ryan Stewart. I think I've covered everybody. Tyler Brown, Sports Information. And I'm Mike Paris. Thanks for joining us here. Catamounts, all black, purple trim. Jacksonville State, all white with red and black trim for the Gamecocks. See if my starting lineups. There's Halverson. Myers is going to jump it. Here's Steger, Gibson. Well, I think we're ready to go here. And the big guy, Dotson. Christian Cunningham jumps against Myers, slaps it to the backcourt, and we're underway. Tap control by Jacksonville State. That'll get us going here for the Gamecocks. Ty Hudson works the right perimeter beyond the three-point line. It'll go to Mostella off the pick and roll. He went to Cunningham to Burnell. Baseline to Marlowe. Jumper Hunter left side, 15 feet, knocks it down. And Jacksonville State off to a good start here. Terrific ball movement there. They get the bucket. Halverson guarded by Hudson ahead with it. Up top, Steger guarded by Hunter. To Myers, back to the basket. He is guarded by Cunningham. Down low to the big guy, Dotson at 265. He walled it off underneath, got position on Burnell, caught it, laid it up and in, and we're tied at two. Hudson inside, Cunningham by himself, lays it up and in. He rolled away from the defense and caught it under the basket and laid it up and in. And it is a four to two. Jacksonville stay lead here. Outside with it, the talented freshman Gibson to Dotson, high post, now to Myers. Behind the ball screen, he'll dribble, go right side to Halverson. He's kind of come around up top. Gamecock switch off of him. It'll be Hudson now picking up Gibson as the pass went to him. Gibson drives, pushes off, gets it outside to Halverson. Corner to Steger for three. Back iron and long, no good. Rebound tip, controlled off the tap. Cunningham got his first board of the day to Hudson. Ahead to Mostella. He'll look, swinging out front to Christian. Now he'll come to Hudson to the corner right side to Marlon Hunter. They are man-to-man -man in the half court. Marlin started up, ball knocked away, but it went right to Cunningham. He'll give to Hunter. Now to Mostella. Ray Harper play instructions from the other end of the floor. It'll go to Hudson, 10 on the shot clock. Jacksonville State, 10 on the shot clock. Down to eight, to seven, to six. Hudson up top at five, at four. He'll get a ball screen, stop. Looking, looking, gonna have to force up a shot. Hit the front iron, it comes off short, no good. Couldn't find anybody open to move with at that time. They push it ahead to Myers, up the right perimeter. Left side, Gibson open, spot up three. That's off the front rim, no good. Cunningham rebounds it. Got it to tie. Hudson will push. The Clemson transfer, middle of the floor, stops. Try to go left side. Myers read the, read the pass and swatted it out of bounds right at half court. Gamecocks keep possession. We're two minutes and five seconds in. And a four to two. 
Jackson will stay lead in this one at this point in time. Inbounding at half court, Burnell. Jason will give to Hudson. He'll work the left side. Man to man, Western Carolina to half court. It'll come to Mostella trying to get free. Skips it across the floor to Hudson. Little fake there, he'll drive, get to the free throw line. Lean in on Halverson, put up the shot and knock it down just inside the free throw line. 6-2, Jacksonville State by four. Two and a half minutes into the contest. Halverson's up top, got bumped by Burnell. Didn't see Dotson open underneath. Now they'll get it down to him. They try to close in on him and do. He'll dribble it out, pitch it up top. Halverson left of the circle to Stigger. Shot fake, sweeps the ball, then kicks to the corner. He'll go to Gibson behind the screen. He'll work. He gives back to the left corner to Myers. Up top, Stigger will come meet it, head of the circle. He'll dribble and drive toward the hole, knocked away. Mostella the steal. Now a double dribble going to be called on Dietrich Mostella. Double dribble the call. It'll be their basketball and a whole new 30 to work with here for the Catamounts. 17-10 to play, first half, 6-2 here in the early going. The local time zone, it's 12:37. Back home in Jacksonville, Alabama, where it's, what, about 40, 52 degrees now. It is 11:38, 85 and sunny here. Shot inside, off the dribble, rising up, one-handed jumper by Gibson Short. Cunningham, another board. Ahead to Mostel, a high pass. Marlowe went up and tipped it but couldn't control it. And will head the other way for them. So they push it the other way. Three rebounds, Cunningham. He's got all of them for Jacksonville State so far. They back down, Dotson got inside and he just made Christian look like he wasn't even standing there. Banged into him and turned with the left hand. Flipped it up, got the bounce on the iron and dropped it home. 6-4, Jacksonville State by two. Jamal Gregory, Maurice Dunlap off the bench. About to get in at the next dead ball for the Gamecocks. Hudson near side to Marlowe. Hunter up top to Burnell, top of the key. Now to Hudson, to the corner to Mostella. Dietrich in front of the Catamounts bench. Dribbles once, gives to Cunningham. Backs it in, in the lane. Dishes, got it inside, underneath the Hunter. Nice dish, Cunningham, he gets the assist. And Hunter puts it down, four for Marlin. And it's 8-4, Jacksonville State by four. 16.05 to play in a half. Oh, nice crossover by Halverson. Got free, but didn't take the shot. Gives to Myers. Myers up front with it. Bounce pass, it'll go to Steger. Left side to Halverson, a catch and a shot in the corner for three, got it. He got a little separation from Cunningham. Christian couldn't get over there in time to get the hand up, and he drilled it. And it's 8-7, 15.45 to go into half. Hudson crosses the timeline. Ty out of Pebble Brook High School in Atlanta. To Mostella, a dribble and a drive. To the basket from the left side. Used the right hand and banked it up and in. Four-star recruit coming out of high school a few years back was Mostella. He gets his first deuce of the day. 10-7. Gamecocks by three. Drive it. Gibson inside. Banks it up again. Banks it up and in again. Got a little hook to get around Burnell. Got away with it. No call there. And he banked it in. He cuts it to one at 10-9. He's got six to their nine so far in the early going. Hudson, top of the key to Burnell. Jason, a couple of dribbles, backdoor cut. Marlin open, jump shot, got it, knocked it down. Hunter, three out of three. He's got six in a game, Cox, a 12-9 advantage. Derek St. Hilaire at the scorer's table with Dunlap and Gregory to check in. We get a timeout at the next dead ball here. Ball knocked away and out of bounds by Hudson. That'll get us to the 16 and under media timeout. 14.52 to play first half, 12-9. Jacksonville State by three. This is the Gamecock Sports Network. The Cancun Challenge, Hard Rock Hotel, Riviera Maya here in Cancun, Mexico. Well, if we were playing outside, I don't know. Whew, be tough to get up some shots. A little breezy here the last couple of days. 
Jacksonville State, a 12-9 advantage. Gamecocks, six out of seven from the field so far. Six points, Marlon Hunters, three out of three. Gamecocks have outboarded them three to one. Cunningham with all three rebounds. Ty Hudson, a couple of assists for Jacksonville State. Four assists on six buckets for the Gamecocks. The Cat amounts two assists on their four baskets. Dotson is three of three for them with six points and already a load. I don't know if the Gamecocks have anybody physical enough to hang with and handle him. It's going to be a challenge throughout the day on that one for Jacksonville State. So a 12-9 contest. Our officials, by the way, are Freddie Williams, Michael Griffith, and Don Olson working the game. Across the way, they inbound right in front of the Jacksonville State bench. And inbound, it will be Gibson. He'll inbound to Halverson. Myers is out there. Did they make a substitution? I think they did. Sleds in the game, 6'8", 220. Freshman out of Roanoke, Virginia. They have just one senior. So you got two true freshmen on the floor for them. Also in the game now for the first time is another freshman, Josh Cottrell. So three of them out there. Sled back to the baskets, got it to Cottrell. And that's a travel or a no, a hold. A holding call on Derek St. Hilaire with a foul. Shot clock was under five. Derek St. Hilaire with a foul, his first. And the Gamecocks first team foul. It's the first one whistled in the game, I do believe. Gamecocks, Derek St. Hilaire, 5'11", 180 sophomore from the Atlanta area out of Decula, Georgia, came from Gordon State Junior College. Maurice Dunlap, 6'2", 175, senior out of Greenwood, Mississippi, is on the floor. And Jamal Gregory, crazy athletic, 6'3", 202, senior from Washington, D.C. Gibson to the corner, left side to Halverson. Sled, tried to find position in the paint. Halverson dribbles it out. Now we'll get him in the mid-range area. Sled back to the cross-court pass stolen. Gregory by himself. Highlight time as he rams it home. First bucket for him, and it's 14-9. Gamecocks by five. He has been a top ten sports center player of the day a couple of, what, three times in his career. One of them early this year on a great block up in Happy Valley against Penn State. 14 and 9 as he got the jam there. Back at Indian Myers. Spins, nowhere to go. Christian shot him down. Now it's at Halverson. Shot clock at 10. He'll dribble, top of the key. Got the ball screen. Drives, got free. Banked it up and in. That was absolutely too easy. Cannot let him get free like that. They set a ball screen. Maurice Moe, as they call him, his teammates, got caught on that one, and he didn't get any help defensively from his mates. 14 11, three point game. Halverson's got five. And then Dotson, the other six. Gregory, left side, puts in the hands of St. Hilaire. Down low to Burnell. Backs it in on Sled. Trying to take advantage of the freshman. Gave to Cunningham, who laid it up and in. He cut down the lane. Burnell fed him. Jason the assist. Cunningham the deuce. Christian now with four points to go along with his three rebounds and one assist. Gamecocks by five. Cottrell right wing. He'll go to Gibson. Gibson top of the key to Myers. Pitches it right perimeter. Howerson ball screen. That's an illegal screen call on Myers. The official rules, D.J. Myers, illegal screen. That's his first, team's first. And substitution, Jakar across, 6'8", 250, the junior. Out of Atlanta, it checks in for Jacksonville State. And Cunningham checks out. Burnell, the only starter who's on the floor now. They get Ono Stinger back, uh, back in the game. Stinger back in. Dotson back in. Cottrell still out there. Halverson's out there. And also checking in the game for them. Who is that? Oh, it's zero. I can find the number. It's Maurice Smith who's on the floor. Inside, they get it to Cross. Turn around, hook shot. Put up by Cross as he got a good post inside, but couldn't get it to fall. Rolled around and off the iron, no good. Only the second miss for the Gamecocks. Halverson going to drive, pass outside, deflected. Dunlap will grab the loose basketball. Mo going to push it, brings it down. Banked it off the mark, no good, but Steger got it with the body, and he'll shoot two. Mark Prosser up off the bench over there. Want to know why they went to call against the Gamecocks on the other end of the floor. Christian was on the bench for just a moment. Looks like he's going to get back in here. Halverson, Cottrell, Steger, Dotson, and on the floor for them also is Maurice Smith, 6'6", 215 junior from down at Lauderdale Lakes, Florida. Maurice Dunlap will shoot two for Jacksonville State. Mo out of Greenwood, Mississippi, just barely drew iron with the first one. Began his career at Mississippi State, spent a year there, and then went to Jones County Community College over in the Magnolia State or the SIP as it's commonly called now. And he's out of Greenwood. He had a good outing at Bradley, trying to find a backup at point. He won it for the moment, I think, with that performance against Bradley. Didn't get either free throw here. That hurts, missed them both. 
First one just barely drew iron. That one sat on the front rim, hit a couple of times, and it came off no good. So we stay 16-11. Oh, that was a backcourt violation, wasn't it? Yes, that's over and back. No, a 10-second count will be the call here. Alverson didn't get it across and didn't get a whole lot of help, and it looked like it could have been an over and back call. Smith actually was in the front court. Had not said possession, uh, position, I should say, in the back court. But it was a 10-second count. So the Gamecocks forced a turnover, 12-18 and a half, 16-11. Gamecocks by five. Dunlap up top. Maurice to cross. Right side to Derek St. Hilaire. Pitches it back to Dunlap. Left of the circle to Gregory. He'll get a ball screen. Goes the other way opposite. Kicks it to the corner to St. Hilaire. Touch pass to Dunlap. Back to the corner to Derek. Got a ball screen from Cunningham. Looks, got it down low to Christians. He rolled off the screen. He'll back it in and an offensive foul on Cunningham as he backed it in. First foul, Christian. And the Gamecocks with their second team foul here in this first half. And we get the 12 and under media timeout here at 11.54 to go first half. Jacksonville State by five. Gamecocks lead at 16-11 on the Gamecock Sports Network. Don't forget Saturday night, 6.30, opening round FCS playoffs, Spurgeon Snowfield, Jacksonville State playing host to the Buccaneers of East Tennessee State University. Tickets available online at JSU Gamecock Sports, uh, JSU Gamecock Sports.com. Buy them online in advance, and you can get them cheaper than what you'll pay for them at the gates for Saturday's event. Hope you'll come join us at your own Jacksonville State Saturday night, six straight years. Third longest active streak in FCS football. Six straight years in the playoffs for the Gamecocks. Let's get back to hoops. They inbound it following the timeout. Jacksonville State full court pressure. Jakara Cross went for the steal, didn't get it. And no foul called. Wow, Dotson hit the floor. Cross went for the ball, no whistle there. And he and Dotson made contact. Dotson may have turned an ankle or something there in the ball to add insult to that injury. The ball went off of him and out of bounds and Mark Prosser pleading over there, wanting to, wanting to know what happened with a foul call there. Dotson limps off the floor. Hopefully he's okay. And Smith is in to replace him. Gibson back in for the Catamounts. Gibson and Cottrell out there, along with Sled. Maurice Smith is back in for them. Outside, Derek St. Hilaire, spot up three off the mark. No good. Sled the box out and a rebound. And what do we got a foul call here? And who's down? Jamal Gregory. Hit the deck for Jacksonville State. And a foul going to be called on Western Carolina's Cameron Gibson. That's his first, their third team foul of the half. Steger, Sled, Gibson, Smith, and Cottrell for them. St. Hilaire drives, stops, pops, left side off the dribble, rises up, drains the jumper. Gamecocks by seven at 18-11. Biggest lead of the night for the Gamecocks. Now nine out of 12 from the field, Jacksonville State. Western Carolina's five of eight. They beat the 10-second count, get it down. Steger drives through, pitches out. Cottrell open three, got it. 18-14, just like that. Cottrell with a triple. That's his 11th field goal of the season. All of them are threes, all but one of his 20 field goal, excuse me, 21 field goal attempts now have been threes for Josh Cottrell, the Hayesville, North Carolina native, makes it 18-14. Dunlap, the three near side for Jacksonville State. In and out, no good. Sled on the weak side, rebounds for the Catamounts. 
to Gibson. He'll push to the middle of the floor and bring it ahead. Gibson to the right side, stops, looks down low, got it to Sled, blocked by Cunningham. That'll add to his career best total. St. Hilaire controls to Gregory, to Dunlap, trapped in the corner, got an out cross over his head, Sled out of there with it. He'll race down, missed the shot, no good. Follow up, up and in by Maurice Smith. Cross went for the pass, didn't get it, was over his head. And it led to a run out, Sled with Gregory chasing from behind, left it off the back of the iron, then it lift off the front rim, no good, but they rebound and put it up and in. And it's Maury Smith with a bucket. And it is 18-16, so they've scored five in a row to cut the lead to two, and Ray Harper to a 30-second timeout here for Jacksonville State. He's getting some substitutions back in the game here, some fresh bodies at 10-18 to go into half. 18-16, Gamecocks by two, but a 5-0 run for the Catamounts here. Jacksonville State, I think, has led the entire way to this point in time. Cunningham stays on the floor. Marlon Hunter, Dietrich Mostella, Ty Hudson, and Jason Burnell. The other four starters back in. Halverson has returned for Western Carolina as Mark Halverson is out there now with Cottrell and Gibson, three guards, along with Maurice Smith. No, D.J. Myers. Check it. D.J. Myers is back in. Driving Hudson. Terrific drive. Kissed it high and sweetly off the glass and put it up and in. Went around the perimeter to the baseline left side. 2016, midway through the half, Jacksonville State by four. Halverson and Gibson, Myers, Cottrell, and Sled. And Smith up off the bench, checks in, next dead ball. Mostella against Gibson. He's trying to drive, and that's a travel on the freshman. He got called for a travel as the defense came from the help side, forced him to, he had some issues as he got into the paint, couldn't get stopped quick enough. Sled out, Smith back in the game for them. So three guards on the floor and the two post guys, Jacksonville State. Basically three guards and two post guys. Marlon Hunter at 6'3", playing the three. Double high post, they stack it. Hudson around it, feeds Burnell, open three, won't go. Rebound, Halverson on the long carom. Halverson with a rebound. Up the far side of the floor in front of the benches, drives in the lane, dishes it outside to Myers, cutting. And let's see, he's saying that Jacksonville State touched it, but the officials didn't see it. Turnover to the Catamounts. Substitution is Dotson. He's back in as the big guy. Dotson in. Smith out of their lineup on the floor. Western Carolina. Now with eight turnovers already. Hunter around the screen, left side. Puts up the jumper long, no good. Cunningham battles for the rebound, and Christian. Gets called for a foul over the top. That'll be his second foul. They've got three. Jacksonville State's got three. Unfortunately, two of them against Christian Cunningham here. Bad news for the Gamecocks. So Christian's got to sit down now. Cunningham, four points, three boards. A block shot and an assist for the Gamecocks. Replacing him, it'll be the freshman from Slovakia, Maros Zelisnak. Zelisnak, 6'11", 250. In the game for the first time. Gibson ahead with it for them. Jacksonville State man-to-man -man in the half court. They come to double Dotson. They didn't realize they had a man open in the corner. They finally got it to Myers. Now he'll drive around, get inside, and a blocking foul called as he made a pass out on the baseline. And let's see. I think it was Hudson. Yeah, tie the foul call with a block. And they'll bring it in on the baseline left side. Foul on Hudson. His, his first, their fourth team foul. Tommy Wade, the assistant who has the scout for this game, up along with Ray Harper, barking instructions to the guys. They get it inbound. Halverson to Dotson, right out at the three-point line. Going to drive around Zelly Snack, get to the basket, put it up way off the mark, no good. Burnell the rebound, and he'll come in a hurry. Jason with it to the right side to Mostella, to Zelly Snack. Myros, who still hasn't scored so far, but has played in every game, goes to Hunter. Up top, Burnell now works around the perimeter to Mostella, knocked away. They reach in and take it away. Myers couldn't get control of it, not try to keep it alive, knocked it out of bounds. They do not reset the shot clock. They'll keep it at 14. Cottrell back in the game. Halverson will check out for them. So Halverson will sit down here with five points, 2016. Scoring has slowed down a bit here with eight and a half minutes to go in the half. Driving Hudson going, lost the handle, ball on the floor, turnover Jacksonville State. Cottrell got the loose ball. 
They can cut it to two or one, depending on what happens here. Gibson to Myers, finds a lane, drives, skips to the corner. Cottrell, open three in the air, got it. He's two out of two off the bench is Josh Cottrell. He's a 50% shooter from the field overall, better than that at the three-point line. He's two out of two out there today. If you can shoot the basketball, there's a place for you in the game. They've cut it to one at 20 to 19. They average 10 threes a game. They're three out of five out there today. Gamecocks got it inside. Hunter missed a chippy, and then the tip wouldn't go for him. He missed them both right under the basket. 20 to 19, Western Carolina looks for his first lead of the day. Gibson open, right side off the dribble, three ball. Shot it long, Steger the rebound, and threw it to Tommy Wade on the bench over there. He was throwing to Gibson, but it went behind. Gibson had started toward the basket, went behind him and out of bounds, and that'll get us to the eight and under. Officials time here, 7.37 to play first half. From the Hard Rock Hotel, Riviera Maya in Cancun. Jacksonville State by one, 2019. Gamecocks lead it. Timeout, this is the Gamecock Sports Network. Mike Paris courtside here. It's the Hard Rock Hotel. Cancun Challenge. Opening game of the event. The winner will play tomorrow afternoon at, well, 3.30 Eastern, 2.30 Central Time. And we'll play the winner of the game to follow us this afternoon between Southern Mississippi and the Ospreys of North Florida. Jacksonville State still with Ty Hudson, Jason Burdell, Mara Zelli Snack, Jamal Gregory now in the game, and Dietrich Mostella, Mostella trying to drive, spins in the paint, turnaround shot, won't go, or it did go, but it doesn't matter. Traveling call, Jacksonville State as he turned it over. Here comes Derek St. Hilaire in the game, and Mostella will sit down here. They've got Josh Cottrell along with DJ Myers, Cameron Gibson, Arno Steger, and Carlos Dotson. Four of their five starters out there. Halverson, the only guy on their bench at this point in time. Gamecocks by a point. Again, they got a chance to get their first lead of the contest. Myers outside, starts going to drive. Throws it cross court to Cottrell outside to Gibson. They close on both of those guys in a hurry because they know they'll shoot it anytime, anywhere. Cottrell to Myers, going to drive. Banked it way too hard, no good. Zelly snack, Myers. Maros with the rebound to St. Hilaire. He'll drive it to the corner to Hudson. Three ball, short, side of the rim, no good. Gibson the rebound. Jacksonville State, only one of their last seven from the field. Shot, oh no, check it, I'm sorry. You got an illegal screen call on Dotson. First foul on Dotson, illegal screen. Their fourth foul, Jacksonville State, four team fouls. Halverson has returned. Gibson out of their lineup now. Gamecocks just won it, their last seven from the field and hadn't scored in three minutes and 25 seconds of the Gamecocks. One of their last seven from the field and oh for their last six. Out front with it, Hudson pitches it back to the right side of Gregory, down low Burnell, posted up. Jason looking for his first points, cutting through. Zelly Snack got it, laid it up and in. A little high-low action there. Zelly Snack came down the paint. Good feed from Burnell, and Zelly Snack his first points in a Gamecock uniform for the Slovakian, 22-19. Good guys by three. Cottrell out front, dribbles 
putting on the exhibition, finally gets rid of it to Myers. Now to the corner to the right side to Steger in front of the Gamecock bench. He'll swing it outside to Halverson, left side, Cottrell to the corner, Myers. Myers drives up top to Steger, knocked away, but he got it back. Kept possession to the corner, Halverson, three ball, got it, and we're tied at 22. Steger, good job to keep possession of the ball, found Halverson. He hits his second triple. They are four of six at the three-point line. Nine of 17 overall, and we're tied at 22. Boy, they can score. Zelly Snag to Hudson, lobs down low Burnell. They come to double him down on the blocks. He'll kick it to the corner to St. Hilaire. A catch and a three ball in the corner won't go no good. Rebound out of bounds. Myers trying to keep it away from Burnell. Knocked it out of bounds. And Jackson will stay, gets it back here. A fresh 30 on the shot clock. Dunlap in at the point. Ty Hudson checks out of the game for Jacksonville State. 5.29 to go into half. Maurice to inbound. Dunlap gets it into St. Hilaire. Coming around the ball or the screen out high. Got it now to Burnell. To Gregory to Dunlap. Down low on the other side on the blocks on the left side to Burnell. He'll back it in. Go to the jump hook. Short. No good. Myers the rebound. Myers, outlet pass stolen. Gregory the steal for the two-handed flush to give Jacksonville State the lead, 22-20. He's got two baskets, high percentage shots. He stuffed both of them as Gregory. Jamal makes it the game. Cox a two-point game. Halverson outside for three off the mark. No good. Burnell the rebound. Good outlet pass to St. Hilaire lays it up and in. He got down the floor in a hurry. A terrific look from Burnell. 26-22, Jacksonville State by four. 4.45 to go first half. Myers going to drive. Zelly Snack cut him off. He'll swing it back outside to Cottrell with Dunlap on him. Now to Myers. To the corner left side. Steger for three. Got the no, he didn't. Bounces around and off the iron. No good. Everybody missed time to jump except Maurice Smith. He got the offensive rebound. He'll feed Cottrell. He'll drive and feed Myers. And a blocking foul called on Burnell after he had released the ball. Had Cottrell the pass. Burnell tried to draw a charge but got whistled for a block. First on Jason, fifth, Jacksonville State team foul of the half. Marlon Hunter back in. Derek St. Hilaire leaves the floor. So now it'll be Dunlap, Gregory, and Hunter with Zelly Snack and Burnell. Gibson back in for them. He'll join Halverson and Maurice Smith. Dotson on the floor and Cottrell, they're five. They're quintet on the floor for Coach Prosser's bunch for the Catamounts. 26-22, Jacksonville State by four. They'll lob it in way out high to Dotson. Now to Smith, right side to Halverson in front of the Jacksonville State bench on the wing over there. He looks and looks, can't find anybody down low. Now finally, if he couldn't get outside to Cottrell, dumped it into Dotson. Up top to Smith, he'll drive, stop free throw line, go to Gibson who lost the handle on it. Tried to do something with it before he caught the ball completely and cleanly. Unforced error there, turnover. That'll be their 12th turnover of the game. Jacksonville State has six. They average 17 a night. 4-10 to go in the half, 26-22. They stay man-to-man -man in the half court. Dunlap up top. He'll feed Burnell, going to drive and stop. Look, feeds underneath. Marlin caught it, banked it up and in here. Did Hunter, 6-0 run. Jacksonville State to lead, 28-22. We get a timeout. Next stop at your play. As the Gamecocks are up six, Dotson back to the basket. They come and make him force, go out, force him to go outside with it. He couldn't maneuver down there on the baseline. He'll go to Gibson, right side on the perimeter to Smith. Smith against Zelly Snack, going to drive it inside, and it's out of bounds. And let's see, it still belongs to the Catamounts. Touched by Jacksonville State, and they'll get us to the final official's timeout of this opening half of play. 3.34 to go into half. Jacksonville State, a 28-22 lead, a 6-0 run for the Gamecocks. We come back with more of the Cancun Challenge after a timeout on the Gamecock Sports Network.
Welcome back to the Hard Rock Hotel, Riviera Maya. Mike Paris, Jacksonville State Hoops here, 28-22. Good guys by six. Catamounts, 9 of 19 from the field, just under 15 per, uh, 50 percent. Jacksonville State, 14 of 25 at 56 percent. And they've out-rebounded Jacksonville State 13 to nine so far in the first half, have the Catamounts. You're listening to Jacksonville State basketball on the home of Gamecock Sports, 91.9 FM, WLJS FM, Jacksonville. Western Carolina basketball, they'll inbound it, baseline left side, 10 on the shot clock, got it in toward Halverson, but deflected and out of bounds as Burnell got his hands on the entry pass. Gamecocks a 6-0 run over the last 221. They're only one of their last six from the field. One of their last five from the field. Check it for Western Carolina. Finally dropped them under 50%. Halverson left side. Jump shot by the new man in the game for them. Marcus Thomas, sophomore guard out of Mint Hill, North Carolina. That was off the mark, no good. And an easy rebound, Jacksonville State. 28-22, they lead by six. Ellie Snack, high ball screen. Gave it up top, did Dunlap to Burnell. Now to Jamal Gregory coming around. Jamal works left, goes to his strong side off the dribble. Fade away jumper, won't go. Rebounded underneath by Smith. Smith, Dotson, Halverson, Thomas, and Gibson for Coach Prosser's butts from Western Carolina. They go to the corner over there to Thomas. 6'3", 180. Came to them from Moravian Prep. Halverson tried to go underneath, bad pass, went off the feet of Smith, a steal, and Gregory another dunk for Jacksonville State. And it's 30 to 22, a Jacksonville State eight point lead, biggest lead of the first half. Remember they had one of seven earlier. It's an 8-0 Gamecock run here. Jamal Gregory, those high percentage shots, he's three out of four from the field. He missed the jumper, but then got the dunk following that. And the Gamecocks by eight here at 30 to 22. And Western Carolina will take their time out here in this first half, use it or lose it. And with the Gamecocks in the midst of the run, Mark Prosser, first year head coach, former assistant at Winthrop. Also was at Wofford with Mike Young for a while there. And again, the son of the late Skip Prosser had a tremendous coaching career. Wake Forest at final stop for him. Gregory, Zelly Snag, Burnell, Dunlap, and Hunter. Dave Maros has played good. Most extensive action for him, and he's been solid out there. Halverson, Cottrell has returned. Dotson's on the floor. Gibson and Myers back in now for the guys in black from Western Carolina. 30 to 22. So you got, what, two true freshmen on the floor and a sophomore out there. Gibson in trouble, got tangled up in the defense and turned it over. That'll be their 14th turnover the first half of them. We'll check it, Myers is a freshman. Myers a freshman, Cottrell a freshman, and Gibson, so three true freshmen on the floor. Dotson a junior, his first year in the uniform, and Alverson just a sophomore. They have only one senior. Burnell up top of the key, gave it to Gregory, left wing in front of their bench. Zelly Snack will come out to get it. Mauro dribbles once, he'll pitch to Dunlap. Behind the screen, drive, stops, pops, jumper, hit it. 10 point, Jacksonville stay lead. Zelly Snack hit the high ball screen for him. Maurice went around it and drained the J. 2.05 to go in the half. 32-22, Gamecocks by 10 here. It's a 10-0 Jacksonville State run. Cottrell works against the D, started right, pitched it to left to Myers, to Halverson open three. That's in and out, no good, he finally missed. Burnell the rebound. It's nice to have a 6-7 post guy that can handle the ball like Burnell, and he brought it across the timeline. Gives it back to Dunlap. They set the high ball screens outside. He'll come around it, pitch it to Zelly Snack. He'll give now to Hunter, who comes behind the screen. Free throw line jumper short, no good. Maros got a hand on the rebound, but Zelly Snack could control it. Here comes Halverson with it. Right side, Cottrell, quick three. That's off the mark, no good. Weak side rebound off the hands of Zelly Snack. Out of bounds, it'll belong to Western Carolina. Sled will check in. Smith will check in. Dotson's out of their lineup, and Myers out of the game. And here comes Jakar Cross in for Jacksonville State. Burnell's played a lot of minutes. So has Mara Zellisnack, and he will leave here with Zellisnack. And I'm telling you, he was solid. Good outing for Zellisnack in the first half with Christian on the bench with the two fouls. Inbounds pass to Gibson. Outside sled, his second stint on the floor for them. He's trying to post up as they went to Halverson. Outside to Cottrell, right side to Halverson. 
And he'll go to Slid, but he's outside. He'll give it back to Halverson. He'll drive on the baseline, try to kick it outside. Knocked away, Hunter the steal. It'll be 3-0-2. He's down, got to put it up, no good. But he got fouled by Maury Smith, and he shoots two here. Will Marlin Hunter, he'll go to the line to shoot two at a minute nine to play in the half. Gamecocks on a 10-0 run. They lead 32-22. They have turned it over 15 times in the half. Jacksonville State, 15 points. Excuse me, let me check that again. The Gamecocks, 12 points off the first 14 turnovers that they committed in the half. Hunter shoots two, free throw in the air and got it for Marlin. Hunter, nine first half points to lead Jacksonville State. If he makes this free throw, he's at his average on the year. He's got nine, six for Gregory off the bench. Second shot, spun around and came out on him, no good. Gamecocks just one out of three now at the free throw line. But they lead by 11, 33, 22 with a minute to go in the half. Jacksonville State, an 11-0 run, almost a turnover, and it is. Gregory knocked it away, Hunter out of there with it. Marlin down with the basketball, finds a little lane, will drive, and now an offensive foul called on Hunter as Cottrell got in front of him and drew the charge. That'll be a turnover against Jacksonville State. And for the Gamecocks, their seventh turnover of the half. Marlin is out, and Ty Hudson back in the game for Jacksonville State. Western Carolina tied it at 22. They've been five minutes plus without any points since then. One of their last eight from the field. And no points in five minutes plus now. Right side, Halverson dumped it down low to Dotson, who came back in the game. Back to Cottrell outside. Now to Gibson, he'll catch, launch a three. That's off the back iron and long, but Dotson Hustled and got the rebound for them. Works on Burnell, backs it in, backs it in. Outside now to Cottrell. He'll give to Gibson. They can play for the final shot of the half, and they'll do that. Ray Harper instructions defensively. Tommy Wade, Jake Morton instructions. Now Chase Richardson up as well. All the coaches over there yelling something off the bench for Jacksonville State. Coach Prosser at the other end talking to his troops. Halverson's got it at six to Gibson at five. Dumps it left side. Cottrell at three. Put it up. Around and off, no good. Thompson. No, check it. I'm sorry, that was Smith. Smith, not Dotson, that got inside and tipped it in to get end at the half. The Gamecock 11-0 run and the dry spell for them that lasted almost six minutes. They finally get a bucket on a tip at the buzzer, and they trim the lead to nine here at halftime. 33-24 at halftime. Jacksonville State. Down nine here, 30, or excuse me, up nine at the half as they got the final points of this opening half of play. 33-24 at the break. Jacksonville State by nine over the Catamounts of Western Carolina. Our halftime report will follow. We'll come back and recap this one and run down all the numbers from the first 20 minutes of the contest. Gamecocks 33, Western Carolina 24. We're back with more in a moment on the Gamecock Sports Network.
We welcome you back to Hard Rock Hotel, Riviera Maya here in Cancun. First game, opening game of the Cancun Challenge. Coming up after this one, it will be Southern Miss taking on the Ospreys of North Florida. And then the evening session tonight, the other half of the tournament. In the first game at 6, it'll be Bradley versus SMU. And then at 8.30, Wright State versus Penn State. Those times tonight, Eastern times, by the way, folks. Western Carolina, the basketball, they go left to right. Jacksonville State right to left here as we start second half play. Tried to get it inside, ball kicked by Cunningham. So they'll bring it in from the baseline, left side of the floor. They have Ono Stiger, Mark Halverson, Cameron Gibson, Carlos Dotson, and D.J. Myers. They inbound to Halverson, uh, got it into Dotson, who gave it right back to Halverson. Shot for the corner three off the mark, no good. Inside, they got it to Steger. His shot blocked by Hunter. Dotson's got it. Now reaching in and tying him up. Jump ball. I think we got a jump ball call. Dotson and Hudson tie from the weak side. Able to reach in and tie him up and force the jump ball for Jacksonville State. And with the alternating possession rule, the Gamecocks will get it back here. Nine-point Jacksonville State lead. 11 has been the biggest advantage here. Up top, Hudson, a dribble and a drive. Gets free for a moment, but kicks it back out to Mostella. Right side to Marlon Hunter. Hunter to the corner to Hudson. Looking down low, they go to JB. Burnell backs it in, looks for his first points. Going to muscle it up. What do we got? Traveling call. He took steps, says the baseline official. Turnover, Jacksonville State. So, Jacksonville State now. Christian Cunningham, Ty Hudson, Dietrich Mostella, Jason Burnell, and Marlon Hunter on the floor. Halverson works across the way, left perimeter in front of their bench into the high post area to Myers. Looking, couldn't go up with a lob down low to Dotson. He'll put it on the floor, go to his left, drive to the basket, lay it up and in. He beat Cunningham off the dribble, and nobody came to help, and he laid it in. Christian did not want to pick up that third foul. 33-26, seven-point Jacksonville State lead. Burnell trying to get offensive, drives, goes inside, missed the shot, no good. Tried to follow it up, off the mark, no good. Rebound on the tip outside, went to Cameron Gibson. He'll bring it ahead, he'll pitch it to the trailer. Steger, back to Gibson, left of the circle. Halverson down to Myers, underneath. Got it to Dotson, knocked out of there. Burnell the block, Hudson controls. Ty pushes to the basket, scooped it up. Some body contact there, no whistle, but he scooped it up with a finger roll. Got the bounce of the iron and dropped it in. First point to the half, Jacksonville State, 35-26. Gamecocks by nine. Looking for their first win of the season. Steger in the corner, shot fake, then dribble baseline, kicks it out to Myers. Myers back to the corner to Steger, dumps it in to Dotson, back to the basket. They come to double him, he'll look back it out of there to Halverson, reverses to Gibson to the corner, Steger, a catch and a three ball. Off the mark, no good, weak side rebound, and it's swatted out of there again by Burnell. Weak side board, Myers, Burnell, back-to-back -back block shots. Game cocks by nine. Burnell, the trailer, got it time of the key off the feed from Hunter. To Mostella, to Cunningham, works it across the floor, reverses to Marlin. Traveling violation, Jacksonville State, two quick turnovers here. In the first two minutes, 13 seconds of the second half, and they'll give it back to the Catamounts. Western Carolina, <laughs> down nine, they get it back. The Ospreys of North Florida are here. See them sitting across the way. I don't think the Golden Eagles have made an appearance yet. Here comes Halverson with it to Dotson, who came out high to get that pass beyond the arc. To Gibson now to Myers. He'll feed down low to Dotson. He'll put it up with the left hand. Hudson was left down there at 6'2 six, six or so, trying to defend on the 6'7", 265-pounder tie, really, at 6'1". An offensive foul on Hudson. He's driving and gets called for an offensive foul as he lowered the shoulder, says the official. Got an elbow into him to get some separation. First foul on Ty, first team foul, Jacksonville State, second half. 35-28, seven-point game. So they get the ball back, an opportunity to cut further into this lead here. Dotson came out high to get it, left to the circle, going to put it on the floor, drive toward the basket, kick it out to Stinger to the corner, Halverson for three. Got it over the leaping Cunningham. His third triple, he's got 11, and they cut it to... Four at 35, 31, 17 minutes to play, 35, 34. Hudson left side to Mostella, didn't take the three, gonna go baseline, muscles it up, no good, but he got fouled by Gibson, he'll shoot two here. Foul will be whistled against their freshman Gibson, that'll be their first foul of the half. So 
second foul on Gibson, first of the half. Jacksonville State, three team fouls already in this half. At the line, Mostella with two. Gamecocks just one out of three, from, one out of four from the line the first half, wasn't it? And they didn't shoot any free throws the first half. They have out-rebounded the Gamecocks now, 23 to 13 in this game. Mostella gets his third point of the game. He makes the first free throw and a second shot coming. Dietrich six out of six, seven out of seven from the line this season for Jacksonville State. And it's 37-31. Jacksonville State jumping back into full court. Pressure defense here. Alverson got it across, knocked away. Hudson the steal. Leads ahead for Mostella. Weaves through traffic, laid it up, no good. Cunningham tipped the rebound, got it back. Trying to move and look, lobs it back outside. They'll reset the offense. Christian an offensive board. Mostella to Burnell, down low to Christian. Maneuvers to the basket. Yes, with a hook shot, banked it in. And one coming for Cunningham. He kept it alive with the offensive board, got rewarded and stuck it in, did Cunningham. Christian now with six points on the contest as he banked that one in to make it 39-31. Foul is against Dotson. That'll be his second and their second team foul here in this half against them. Cunningham free throw, round and out of there, no good. And it's out of bounds. Oh, he made the basket. They lost the ball out of bounds. He, bucket was good. So it's Jacksonville State's basketball. They lost the ball out of bounds. So Jacksonville State will keep possession here. And now what are we doing? Coach Prosser, Mark Prosser wanting a foul call. But so far, no, no foul call. And now I think he's going to get an explanation here is Mark Prosser. And let's see. Jacksonville State, Maurice Dunlap in the game. And out of the contest right now for Jacksonville State. As Marlon Hunter. They get Cottrell in the game. Inbounds pass to Dunlap. Right side, Mostella try for three short off the mark. No good. Cottrell kept the rebound alive, kept it from going out of bounds. Cottrell, Dotson, Steger, Halverson, and Smith for them. Dotson tried to throw it across the floor, deflected. Hudson kept it alive. Burnell grabbed the loose ball. He'll get it outleted. Get an outlet, too, I should say. Mostella. Dietrich dives down the lane and missed the chip. He went right down the paint and left it short with the left hand. No good. Cottrell might have traveled, got away with it, but got it to Smith, to Dotson outside, Halverson for three, that's off the mark, no good. Rebound on the weak side again to Western Carolina, another offensive board, Smith got that one. He'll feed Steger, drives to the basket, offensive foul, and he hit the floor hard, he might be hurting. Well, he banged the floor with a hip right there. Burnell came over, did the dirty work, stepped in front, got there and said, and got set and drew the charging foul. That'll be their third foul in this half. And it'll go against Steger. And that'll get us to the first timeout of the second half of play. Timeout on the floor with 15.39 to play. Jacksonville State, 39.
Challenge, Mike Paris courtside. Jackson will stay with the ball and up eight. Derek St. Hilaire checked in during the timeout. He's got it right perimeter. Left of the circle to Dunlap. Drops it down low to Burnell. Still looking to score for the first time. Jason going to roll to the basket. Put it up, no good, but he got fouled. He'll get to the line to shoot two. Fourth foul of the half against them. And who drew the foul for Western Carolina here? Foul was on their freshman Myers. DJ Myers, his second. Fourth team foul. Jacksonville State, they've corrected it. Just one team foul. One team foul in the second half for the Gamecocks. Jacksonville State in this half. Or for the game, three out of seven from the line, four out of eight. As Purnell hits that one, Jacksonville State in this half from the free throw line is now three for four. Four for eight in the game. Second shot, Burnell. Got them both, his first points of the day for Jason Burnell now. Two points, five assists, three boards, two block shots, and a steal. Gamecocks by 10, inbounds pass, knocked away. Gregory ends up with it. Uh, Derek St. Hilaire knocked it away, forced the turnover, and Gregory grabbed the loose ball and put it in. 43-31, Jacksonville State by 12. It's the biggest lead of the game for Jacksonville State. They've never trailed in the con uh, contest. They're in trouble in the backcourt. Knocked away as they try to fire it ahead. St. Hilaire knocked that one away. Gregory controls it, lost the handle as he crossed the timeline, got it out to Derek. Now right side to Dunlap, head of the circle to Cunningham. Christian, one dribble, two dribbles, pitches it left. St. Hilaire open, three ball, got it. First triple of the day, Jacksonville State. And a game, Cox have opened up a 15-point lead at 46-31 here with 14-37 to play. Game Cox by 15 at 46, 34, uh, 31. I think Mark Prosser wants a timeout here. Is he going to take it? Yes, he is. Timeout, Western Carolina. Jacksonville State has spurted away here for the Game Cox. A bit of a run for the good guys here. As Jacksonville State has taken it now to a 15 point lead. An 8 0 run since that timeout. Western Carolina takes time, Jacksonville State 46, Catamounts 31. This is a Gamecock Sports Network. Welcome back to the Hard Rock Hotel, Riviera Maya, Cancun, uh, Cancun Challenge, game one of the opening day of festivities here. Jacksonville State in the midst of a spurt here in the Gamecocks. 7-0 run since that last timeout. And they lead here 46-31. Nobody in double figures yet for Jacksonville State, but again, balanced scoring for Ray Harper's guys. Against pressure in the backcourt. Here's Gibson working up the left side. That's a travel on the freshman in the backcourt. He turned it over. Took a step there. Boy, Jacksonville State's pressure has really bothered them here in the last few moments. So they'll give it back to Jacksonville State. That's three straight, I believe, turnovers for them. And now on the day for Western Carolina, 23 turnovers. Gregory almost had it stripped from him, but he got it back, saved it, gives to Dunlap to Burnell, guarded by Myers, went around him, reverse layup, won't go for Burnell. Came off this left side of the rim, and on short, no good, and here they go the other way with it. Here comes Gibson ahead with a basketball, 14-10 to go. Gibson, Steger, Myers, Dotson, and Halverson on the floor for them. Dotson out on the perimeter left side, got it up top to Halverson, bad pass, Gregory knocks it away. Jamal the steal, and that could be an intentional foul there. He grabbed him from behind. It will be an intentional foul. He was grabbed. He'll shoot two here, and the Gamecocks will keep possession of the ball. And let's see who 
I think it was Gibson. Was that who it was? That's their. Oh, it's not a flagrant one, is it? Shouldn't he didn't? It's just an intentional foul, was what I thought. Gregory will shoot two. The Gamecocks will get the ball back. That's the fifth foul of the half against them already. Gregory free throw. Jamal's got it. And Jamal Gregory now nearing double digits. That's his ninth point to match Marlon Hunter for Team High Honors. 47-31, 48-31. So he's in double figures with 10, and Jacksonville State will keep possession. They inbound on the baseline. Jason Burnell going to get a rest here. Mara Zellisnack will check in. Boy, he was very good in the first half, just solid. Not great numbers scoring-wise or rebounding-wise, but he was just solid, tough, and strong. Dunlap inbounds outside to Cunningham. Jacksonville State by 17 after the eight free throws. Biggest lead of the afternoon at 48-31. Biggest lead of the year for the Gamecocks, for that matter. Double high post set. Dunlap will come behind it. Derek St. Hilaire pops out, gets the ball. A dipsy do drive. Going to put it up on the run, and we got a foul call here. He got bumped from behind, says the official. Foul is on Halverson. That may be his third of the game for him. Check it. I'm sorry. First foul on Halverson. I thought he was looking at the wrong column here. Sorry, folks. That's his first foul, but six team fouls on the Catamounts already here in the second half with 13.40 to play. Derek St. Hilaire, free throw up. Guy saw shot, got the bounce. Derek St. Hilaire now with eight points in this contest, and that is a career best for him. Every time he scores, he adds to it. He's got nine to St. Hilaire. 50 to 31, Jacksonville State by 19 with 13.40. 1-2, one, 1-1, one, one, full court pressure defense. Well, they have really stung them with it here in the second half. Halverson against pressure. Threw it away, out of bounds over everybody. Oh, no, Dotson tried to save it. Boy, he, he could have taken out Ray Harper down there. He goes 265. Coach would have lost that battle over there. Halverson tried to, or excuse me, I'm sorry, Dotson tried to save it. Off the Halverson errant pass. Thankfully avoided Harper. We've been picking up pieces for him for days after that. He was out of bounds when he touched the ball, so Gamecocks keep put, or get the ball back, and now a foul call here on Stinger. As St. Hilaire went baseline left side, and he hit the floor hard, did Derek, and he may be, he's hurting a little bit as he gets up, checking his knees and his elbows and everything. Foul is on Stinger, that's their seventh foul. Stinger's fouls his third, and their seventh team foul of the half. It's one and one time. Christian Cunningham out and into the game for Jacksonville State. See who checked in for him. Did Burnell come back in? I can't see. Dunlap's out there. Zilly Snacks, St. Hilaire, and Gregory. Free throw, it's good. Yeah, Burnell back in. Cunningham is out. So St. Hilaire hits the free throw. Gregory's got 10. Now Derek St. Hilaire's got 10 to lead the Gamecocks. Off the bench, your leading scores. He got them both to Derek St. Hilaire. He's got to leave. He'll limp off the floor with 11 points, a career high for him, first time in double figures. And a Torian Ware will replace him, true freshman out of Christian County High. Hopkinsville, Kentucky, a 6'4", 200-pounders out there for Jacksonville State for the first time today. Gamecocks by 21. It's their biggest lead and another turnover. Dunlap the steal, feeds Burnell, lays it up. Finally, Jason gets a bucket. And it's 54-31. The full court pressure defense is just stifling right now. Dunlap, <laughs> ball deflected, didn't go after it, did Maurice. I don't know why, he just didn't get it. He's grinning, Gregory's grinning. I guess he thought maybe that it was just, he just didn't get it. And it went out of bounds, and they'll inbound it side court. Jacksonville State has forced them now into 26 turnovers. They had 16 at the half, already 10 in the second half, and about five in a row, thanks to the pressure defense. Nice fake Gibson to the basket, laid it up short, no good. Rebound, Burnell had it, lost it. Myers tried to save it in the corner, and he, his foot hit the line on that far side in the corner next to their bench, and he was out of bounds when he got to the ball, and it'll be Jacksonville State's possession up by 23 here. If the Gamecocks can hang on to the lead, they would face either North Florida or Southern Miss here tomorrow. We'd be on the air at 2 and tip at 2.30. Scheduled time. 
Burnell up top, back outside of Dunlap. Maurice from out on the beach for three, no good. And a foul on Zilly Snack over the back. Maros with his first foul, second team foul of the half, Jacksonville State. 6'11", freshman out of Slovakia is Maros Zelisnak. Myers inbounds. What do we got? A foul before the shot and a hold on Jacksonville State. A foul before the steal. Dettori and Ware with a hold on the inbounds pass. That's his first. Third team foul of the half, Jacksonville State. They had another steal and a dunk off the inbounds. Did the Gamecocks, but that one's negated now. Myers inbounds. They triple team him on the baseline down there. Gibson in trouble. Trying to get out of there with it. Pass deflected, but Halverson got to it. He'll feed Myers. Ahead to Dotson. Bangs in to Zelly Snack. And a bad pass across the baseline. Where are the steal here? Detorian ahead to Gregory. Numbers weren't there. He'll back it out to Dunlap. Right side, Detorian Ware. Three ball. Long, no good. It went high in the air. We got a foul underneath. Halverson with a foul. I guess they got him for a hold on Burnell underneath there. Foul is on two, and it's one and one time. Jacksonville State. Oh, it's a flagrant one foul on Halverson now. Foul on Halverson, a flagrant one rules the official. So two shots here for Burnell to add to a 23-point lead. Jason has scored four points all in this half. He has four rebounds, five assists, two block shots. And now he's got five points. Gamecocks by 24, 55, 31. Second shot, Burnell, good again. 56, 31, Jacksonville State by 25 with 12, 16 to play in the game. Gamecocks have outscored them. 23 to seven here in the second half. Inbounds pass, Halverson controls, will bring it ahead against Burnell and a foul on Jason. Halverson tried to push him to get some separation as he was riding him coming up the floor. Foul on Burnell will be his second. And the fourth team foul of the half, Jacksonville State. Cottrell, Halverson, and Gibson, Myers and Dotson for them. Ware, Dunlap, Gregory, Burnell, and Zelly Snack for Jacksonville State. 12-10 to play. Gamecocks in search of their first win and their second straight in the series with Western Carolina. They'll come to the right side. Dots in the feed from Gibson. Look to back it in. Swings it back outside to Haverson. Swick, uh, quickly to the corner to Cottrell, but they stay with him. And down low, a foul. There's Ellie Snack on the back there. That'll be his second and the Gamecocks' fifth team foul of the half, and that'll get us to the 12 and under timeout here. 11.51 to go, 56-31. Jacksonville State by 25. Timeout. This is a Gamecock Sports Network. Saturday, Jacksonville State football. Opening round, FCS 2018 playoffs. Entertaining the Buccaneers of East Tennessee State University. Needs you in the house. Cheer it on the Gamecocks. 6.30 kick time on Saturday evening. Tickets are available online at jsugamecocksports.com. Again, if you buy them in advance, you get them at a cheaper price than if you wait and just walk up and purchase them at the uh, gate Saturday for the game. So come join us. Tickets in advance, JSUGamecocksports.com for Jacksonville State and East Tennessee State. Our coverage here on the network, 5.30 Saturday with a countdown to kickoff show. We get it going 
And then it's 6.30, toe meets leather. Shot outside from the corner for three, no good. Rebound tipped around inside. Dotson ends up with it and lays it up and in. Dotson's got 10. Howerson leads him with 11. Dotson now in double figures with 10. 56-33, double high post offense from Maurice Dunlap to work behind. He'll feed Burnell to the corner to Torrey and Ware. Ware, couple of dribbles back to Dunlap, head of the circle, left side of Gregory, looks down low, can't get it to Burnell. Zelly snag wanted it outside. They double up on Gregory, and then they can't hang on to it. Myers lost it out of bounds. Five on the shot clock. Jacksonville State gets it back here. 23-point game with 11-12 to go. 56-33. In the second half, Jacksonville State is 5 of 12. They are 3 of 10 in the second half. Gregory outside, got to launch it for three, no good. Detorian Ware the rebound and threw it out of bounds off Cottrell to keep possession, Jacksonville State. The freshman got an offensive rebound. Gamecocks have been out rebounded 31 to 17 in this game now. They have 13 offensive rebounds to Jacksonville State, six in the contest. Dunlap inbounds in the corner. Gregory right side, up top to Torian from downtown Cancun for three. Yowie. He was standing in the sand on the beach out there with that one. Detorian Ware, his first career three-pointer for the freshman. That's his first career field goal. Excuse me, second career field goal, his first three. Gamecocks by 26, 59, 33. Illegal screen to call here on DJ Myers. Illegal screen to call. That'll be his third. He will leave. We got substitutions galore now. Burnell is out for Jacksonville State. Jakar across replaces him. Maurice Smith in. Myers out for Western Carolina. Mark Gosselin, the only senior on their roster, 6'7, 205 senior from Lyon, France. He's in the game for the first time today. Halverson, Gibson, Cottrell, Smith, and Gosselin for them. Dunlap, Gregory, Ware, Zelly Snack, and Cross for Jacksonville State. Ware was outside. They left him alone. He drove around the top of the defense and went right down the blocks, right to the rack, and laid it in. Gamecocks by 23, 61-33. This is the biggest lead of the game of 28 points. Cottrell outside to Gibson. Gibson behind the ball screen, comes right side, stops, will shoot it off the dribble, three ball won't go, cross, good box out of Smith. Jakar of the board, got it out to Gregory. Here comes Jamal, he comes down, stops, he'll pop for three and he'll rattle it around and drop it in. Gregory with a triple, his first three-pointer of the year. And Jamal Greg uh, Gregory averaging under seven points per game coming in, he's got a game high 13 at this point. Smith drives, goes inside, no good. Gossel in the rebound and threw it out of bounds, trying to get it to Halverson across the way. And the Gamecocks get it back with 9.50 to go, up by 31, their biggest lead. Derek St. Hilaire checks in. Gregory is out. How about Jacob Hyde in the game now? Hyde, the junior out of Sneed State from Gadsden City High School, 6'3", 195. Hyde played in the opener against Sanford. And some action here. He's out there with Derek St. Hilaire, Detorian Ware, Myra Zelly Snack, and Jakara Cross. Ware on the right side's got it. Detorian, another bomb for three. That one's short, no good. Rebound. Steger back in the game. Ono Stinger's got it for them. Up the left side, he fed Smith. Down low to Goslin. Back outside to Thomas. Marcus Thomas didn't shoot the three. Down low to Goslin. He works. The Frenchman against the Slovakian. He gives it outside to Halverson, trying to go baseline. They kick it back to Goslin. Basically a set shot for three off the mark, no good. Weak side rebound across. Here comes Jacob Hyde down with the rock. He'll leave it in the hands of Ware. He'll catch, he'll shoot, three ball won't go. A rebound off the front or side rim, I should say, to Halverson, he'll push it. To the right side to Thomas, baseline feed to Smith. Smith back outside to Halverson, a catch. He'll launch the three and drain it Will Mark Halverson. He's got 14, he's now the game's leading scorer. And they cut it to 28, 64, 36, 8.45 to play in the contest here. As it stands now, Jacksonville State will be playing tomorrow afternoon here at 2.30. We're on the air at two from the Cancun Challenge. Zelly Snack lost the handles. He tried to move the ball from Gosselin. Got it back, feeds Derek St. Hilaire. Hesitates right, goes left with it on the run, throws one up, bounces around off the iron. No good, and a foul on cross, I think, pushed off inside. Jakara might have got called. Yep, Jakara called for the push off, trying to get an offensive rebound. 
16 foul of the half against Jacksonville State. First personal against the junior from the Atlanta area. Both at Lithonia and then Cedar Shoals High Schools. 8.20 to play, 28 point Jacksonville State lead. Thomas left side with it, a dribble and a drive against Jakara. Shot no good, another foul cross. Jakara's second, seventh foul of the half. It's two shots anyway, because he was fouled in the act of shooting. So two shots to the line for Marcus Thomas. Thomas averages seven and a half points off of their bench. Thomas, I don't think, hope he didn't score in the first half in his action out there. Played a couple of minutes the first half. He'll shoot two here. First free throw in the air, short front rim. It kicks out, no good. That's the first free throw they've attempted with 8.13 to go in the game. You don't see that too often. Jacksonville State, now 13 of 17. 13 free throws they've attempted in the second half is Jacksonville State. Second shot, long, no good. Rebound again for them. Steger's got it. Left side, he'll go with a sh uh, pass to Thomas. Try for three, no good. Hide the rebound here. He'll outlet to Derek St. Hilaire. Hilaire drives down to the basket and one coming for Derek St. Hilaire at the eight minute mark of the basketball game. He went baseline left side. St. Hilaire 13 to match Gregory's 13. And we're gonna take the eight and under timeout here. Exactly eight minutes to go. Jacksonville State leads it by 30. And this opening game of the Cancun Challenge, 66-36. Gamecocks on top. Timeout. This is the Gamecock Sports Network. Gamecocks lead by 38 minutes left to go as we welcome you back to the Hard Rock Hotel. Riviera Maya here in Cancun. The side of the 2018 Cancun Challenge. The starters back in for Jacksonville State except for Ty Hudson because St. Hilaire's at the free throw line. You got Cunningham back in, Christian, Jason Burnell, Marlon Hunter. And Dietrich Mostella, free throw St. Hilaire. No good, too strong, came around and out of there. Rebound for the Catamounts. Cameron Gibson back in, feeds Smith, Maurice Smith, Marcus Thomas. Steger's out there, and Dotson out there for them as well. They've out-rebounded Jacksonville State 36 to 20 in this game. And a foul on Cunningham. Christian, his third foul. And the Gamecocks over the limit. They'll shoot one and one here with Smith at the line. Smith has four points in the game and eight rebounds. He is the game's leading rebounder. Cunningham four and Burnell four lead Jacksonville State. Free throw bouncing around on the iron and drops in. 66-37. Smith with the bonus now as he hit the front end of the shot. Free throw good again, 66-38. 7.42 to go. Ty Hudson is checked in as they shot the free throws. And all five starters on the floor here in a 28-point game for Jacksonville State. Hudson driving around, got inside. He's in trouble. Somehow got a pass through there. Saved by Marlon Hunter. Got it to Cunningham, who gave to Mostella to Hunter. Back out to Dietrich. Right side to Hudson. Down low to Christian. Back outside to Mostella. Dietrich going to go to his left. Drive, stops, feeds Burnell. Top of the key. Got to shoot it, Jason. And he got fouled with one on the shot clock there as he got bumped. Foul is on Gibson. That's his fourth, I think. They're over the limit, so it'll be two shots for Burnell now. Burnell, six points, four of them from the free throw line. He's four out of four from the line. 
He shoots two here, 66-38, 7-12 to play. Free throw long that time by Vernell. That's only his third miss of the season. But prior to that miss, he was 16 out of 18 from the line was Burnell. Second try is in the air. It is good for Burnell. Still the lead at 29. 7-10 to play. Finally get to play a home game next week with the two teams. Our two home teams, men and women, I should say. Thomas outside with it, Smith. Pushing off on Christian to get some room. He'll dump it to Dotson at five, at four, to the basket, laid it up and in to Dotson. Boy, he's mammoth. 6'7 and 265. And now he has 12 in the game for them, along with seven rebounds. 67-40. They work it to Mostella, left side. Dietrich guarded by Gibson down low. What do we got, an offensive foul against Burnell, the call here. He cleared out, says the official. It'll be their basketball. Offensive foul call, that's a turnover as well. Jacksonville State. 13th turnover of the afternoon for the Gamecocks. They have 30 turnovers on the day to the Catamounts. Gibson outside to Steger. Oh, he ho oh, oh, got away with a little carry action there. No call against him. He went to Gibson, to Thomas, and the Gamecock zoning it now. First time we've seen him go zone. Gibson left side. Thomas going to drive, go baseline. No basket off. It's a foul to call. Burnell again forces a charge call. That's his first foul of the day. They'll wipe the moisture off up from the floor. Man, a game Cox with six minutes to go up by 27. Air time tomorrow at 2 p.m. Tip time at 2.30, unless the house caves in in the final six. Hudson going to drive. His shot no good. Burnell trying to keep it alive. Battle for it. Out of bounds off of Marcus Thomas. And Jacksonville State will get the ball back here. Gamecocks will face either Southern Miss or North Florida tomorrow if they hold to the lead here. Inbounds pass. Cunningham got it. Reverse layup. Got away from Dotson. Let it in. Christian now with eight points and four rebounds. Had a Gamecocks by 29. 69-40 with 540 remaining in the contest. Steger outside. Looked right but went left on the dribble. And then one dribble gave it up to Thomas. Thomas to Gibson out here, 2-3 zone, Jacksonville State. Thomas into the corner, Steger open for three, no good. Long carom on the board, Dotson's got it, backs it out to Steger. He'll take another three and connect on this occasion. He hits that three, and that'll cut it to 69-43, 5-15 to play in a game. 37-21 rebounding edge for them, wow. Hudson outside, looks to his left. He'll feed Mostella on the left perimeter. Up top, Burnell. Lobs, Christian caught it down low. Going to put it up, no good, but he got fouled, and Cunningham will shoot two here with 4.57 to play in a game. Foul I th was not on Dotson. May have been Steger. Foul on Steger, his fourth. And two shots for Cunningham. Christian 0 of 1 from the line of the game today. Eight points, four boards, two assists, two steals, and a block shot. 20 minutes of action for Christian in the game today. 69-43. First free throw, Cunningham short, front iron, no good. He'll get another try. Come on, Christian. Jason Burnell's day is done. Jamal Gregory replaces him. Burnell out, finishes seven points, four boards, five assists, two block shots. Thomas and Gibson exit for them. Halverson and Cottrell back in for Mark Prosser's Catamounts of Western Carolina. Cunningham, second shot, that one's good. He's got nine, does Christian. And it's 70 to 43 with 4.55 to play in a contest. Halverson pounds it in the floor, dribbles right wing with it. Down low, coming around, Gregory knocked it away from Maurice Smith. Smith got it back, he'll feed down low. Dotson spins, got inside, reverse layup won't go. Christian, somebody grabbed his arm, no whistle there. 
But the Gamecocks end up with it. Mostella brings it down, feeds Gregory a little loop to him, and he'll catch and jam it home. 72-43, Gregory now with 15 in the contest. He's got 15 and 13 for Derek St. Hilaire. Gamecocks again by 29. Smith loses his dribble outside. Halverson comes to help him, meets the pass right side. He'll catch, shoot the three, and drain it. Ty Hudson standing right there with him. He drained it. 17 for Halverson. 72-46. Hunter baseline jumper in and out. No good for Marlon Hunter. Rebound knocked outside. Hunter's got it. They feed it to Cunningham, and he'll get into the flush party here and jam it in. Christian in double figures with 11. 74-46, 3.50 to play in a game. One final timeout coming and a whole new set of players coming for the Gamecocks. Cottrell on the drive, flipped it up, no good. Dots in the rebound, reverse with the layup, got it. He got the rebound and they lead, or cut the lead to 74-48. Gamecocks, Detorian Ware, Jakara Cross, and Derek St. Hilaire will check into the game. At the next dead ball. Right side with it, Hunter, back outside to Gregory. Jamal, top of the key, launches a three, nowhere near. Hunter slapped the rebound out, keeps control, went to Hudson. Down low, Cunningham, back out to Ty. Shot clock at five, at four, and a foul on Cottrell outside with four on the shot clock with 3.14 to play in the game. And our final media timeout, officials timeout of the day. 3.14 to go, Jacksonville State, 74, Western Carolina, 48. Timeout. This is a Gamecock Sports Network. Senior Jacksonville State basketball on the home of Gamecock Sports, 91.9 FM, WLJS FM, Jacksonville. Are you an outdoor enthusiast? Do you enjoy great food, entertainment, and lodgings? Calhoun County is adventures for you and your family. Come explore natural attractions from kayaking and biking to hiking and golfing, plus the sports complexes, state parks, historical sites, museums, and more. Calhoun County is a haven with award-winning Restaurants, craft breweries, wineries, performing arts, comfortable accommodations. The Calhoun County Commission, Fred Wilson, Tim Hodges, Don Hudson, J.D. Hess, Lee Patterson personally invite you to plan your next adventure with us. Eat, stay, play, and visit Calhoun County, Alabama. Two shots coming at the line. Dietrich Mostella, whoa, way off the mark. Wow. Mostella with a miss. After making his first seven attempt of the season, he's now missed two in a row. He makes that one, and it's 75-48. Mostella will leave. Maurice Dunlap replaces him. Dunlap, Jacob Hyde, Dorian Ware, Jakara Cross, and Maros Zelnisnak, Zelnisnak for Jacksonville State. Cottrell, top of the key for them. Left side to feed, jumper for three, off the mark, no good. That's a new man in the game for them. End of the game for Western Carolina. First time, Jason McMillan, Jr. out of Cherokee, North Carolina in the game. The Tory and Ware going to drive to the basket, got around Cottrell, nice move to the rack and banked it home. 77-48, 29-point game. Ware a career high for him in this one, as he now is going for seven points. McMillan, left side, got the ball screen. Gives it up now to Goslin, who can't handle it. Unforced error, their 34th turnover of the day for the Catamounts. Mark Goslin is out there for them. Marcus Thomas. And O'Shea is out there for the first time as well. 
First time we've seen him. Dunlap will feed Ware. Left side, a catch, a three, and a jumper. It's good, and he's in double figures with 10. Detorian Ware's hit a couple of three balls today. 10 points for the freshman. First time he's been in double digits in his career. 80 to 48. Gamecocks by 32 here. Yellow O'Shea out there. They look to get it down low to him. Pass deflected. He saves it, does O'Shea. He'll feed to Gosselin. Roll to the basket and miss the shot. No good. Rebound Jakar across. Cross to Dunlap. Maurice navigates through traffic. Puts up a shot block. Gosselin's got it. Feeds it ahead. Trying to go to McMillan. Jacob Hyde knocked it away. Got it back. He'll feed Dunlap. He'll bring it down. Stop. Out to Hyde. Hyde puts it on the floor. He'll drive. He'll get in the lane. Dishes out to Jakara. He'll spin to the basket and bank it up and in. Jakara, nice move off the feed from Jacob Hyde. 90 seconds to play. Gabe Cox with a 34-point lead at 82-48. Cottrell says enough of this, and he hits the triple. Knocks it down, and it's 82-51. Derek St. Hilaire checks in. Maurice Dunlap will leave for Jacksonville State. 82-51, 126 to play in the game. Howerson's got 17, and 12, 14 for Dotson and Cottrell now. Nine points for him on the day. Cross, right side to Ware, shot fake to the corner to Hyde. Jacob going to put it on the floor. He'll drive the runner off the back iron. It wouldn't go. Guys thought he was going to get a bucket there. 107 left, 82-51. McMillan, Olshea, Thomas, Gosselin, and Cottrell. They're five on the floor. Olshea's got it on the baseline. Got a spin, go underneath. Nice little move and got the bounce on the iron. Zelly Snack might have got a piece of him. No whistle there. And he got it up, got it to the rim, and it rolled around and fell in for him for Yellow Olshea. Here they come after the Jacksonville State hoop. Oh, Cottrell didn't even make it down the floor. Stayed on this end, shot for three off the mark after Derek St. Hilaire got the layup for the Gamecocks. He's got 15 to match Gregory's 15. Ware for three, in and out, no good. Crossed the rebound, had it, lost it. 30 seconds to play at a game. Thomas controls for them. 84-53, Gamecocks lead. Jacksonville State, its first win of the season coming here today at the Cancun Challenge, and they'll drop. The Catamounts to one and four. McMillan in the corner, no good. Rebound to Derek St. Hilaire. Gamecocks will get it across the timeline and hold it and run the final 10 seconds out here. Jacksonville State will go to one and three on the year, and they'll drop the Catamounts to one and four. 84-53, the final at the Hard Rock Hotel. Riviera Maya here, the opening game of the Cancun Challenge. Jacksonville State victorious. Our Gamecock locker room show will follow. We'll recap the numbers and all the activities of this day and a visit with Ray Harper. That all follows. We come back right after a timeout. 84-53, Jacksonville State defeats Western Carolina, heads to the championship game tomorrow against either North Florida or Southern Mississippi. We come back after a timeout on the Gamecock Sports Network. 